Yo, what is up guys, it's me, Atlas Gaming, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the beta 2.68 update. Uh, and Kama just put out the full dev block about the update. So I'm going to be going over the dev block. And probably after this, going to be straight to uploading this on YouTube. So if you're watching this, I'll probably be going live tonight to be playing the beta. Actually already online on the beta at the moment, as you know. The idle achievements have been removed. A little bit sad, I dropped below 20,000 achievement points, which is not too bad. Because Ankama also added new achievements for every single dungeon in the game. That I'll be doing once the update goes live in about 3 weeks time. Yes, the beta is going to last 3 weeks. So we have 3 weeks of testing before uh, the update goes live. Not only uh, do they did they add all the achievements, but I think there's also like combined achievements, I think. Let's see, yeah, this one. Um, with a new title. I think, if I am correct, we did keep the ornaments. Uh, let's actually check. Yeah, we did keep the ornaments. So, for those of you who did manage... Uh, I think you, you still have three weeks to get these, though. Uh, because after the update, you will never be able to get the ornaments again. Because the idols will be removed. So yeah, let's go over the update. Uh, the death block actually is only uh, about the class changes and some general changes in the game. So I'll be going over some of the achievements later in this video as well. Because I watched the Ankama live stream uh, later, uh, earlier this week. Uh, where they talked about all the changes in the update. So let's go over the change log um, and let's go over all of the changes. So first of all, we have the Aniripsa. Aniripsa got a full revamp. Uh, actually, the difficulty of the Aniripsa will go up after the update. I will not go in depth in over all of these spells because then this video is going to take a couple of hours. But I'll quickly go over the changes and then over some of the more important changes later on this video. So Aniripsa got a full revamp. Um, I will be playing the Any Ripsa on the beta later this evening on the live stream. So check it out if you want to know more about the Any changes. But yeah, uh, Any full revamp. So now basically what you have do, I think you have like the Kony got a revamp. So now you have the Kony and the Mutant Kony. That's the complete new mechanics. There's also of, uh, files that you can use to do damage and buff your allies. And all new spells. So these are like the files that you can put on the uh, field. And the Riptas can uh, AP buff, I think MP steal. Uh, power buff as well. They can do MP reduction, AP reduction, erosion. Like any Riptas can do literally everything in the game. So I'll quickly scroll over all of these spells. Like I said, we'll be going on the beta later this evening. So if you're watching this video on YouTube uh, today, then go check out my live stream later this evening. So these are the fairies. Um, they all have special effects when you use them. All of the new spells. I cannot wait to check out the beta to be honest. So these are like some buffs. Pretty nice. Uh, a lot of new mechanics. A uh, little bit like Xelor, like Hupper Mage. All those classes are a little bit combined. Some utility changes, so if you want to read more about these spells, you can pause the video. So there's going to be a new spell kit, obviously. Uh, I think, is it the old one or the new one? I think this is the new one, right? Uh, so yeah, these are the spells. So I think uh, Ankama did say they kept the same spell animations because they don't want to focus on uh, changing these before we go to Unity, which is probably going to be next year. So we have the fire path uh, of the Any Ripsa, which has medium and long range, uh, AP parry, AP reduction, range steal, and critical hit uh, debuff uh, for enemies. So that's going to be the intelligence build. Then we have the water build, which is going to be short to medium range. It has unbewitchment, AOE, healing, uh, health stealing, and shield and dodge debuffing as well. And then uh, I'm going to scroll a little bit slower so you can check these spells. Um, you can pause the video. I'm not going over these spells because, like I said, I will be checking out the beta tonight. Um, we have the air path, which is long range, mobility debuff, MP reduction, power debuff, and AoE healing as well. 
Um, so yeah, these are the spells. Uh, and this is the Earth Pass. Short range, uh, pushback damage and pushback. Healing over time uh, when you attack enemies. And uh, damage reduction suffered. So those are the builds that you can pick on the Anirepsa. Um, they changed the class set. Obviously, I don't really care about that to be honest. And they did change some Ujinax spells. So I i don't think it's a nerf. It's more like a balancing, a little bit of a buff. I think more, more most of the time it's going to be a buff. Um, you can now enter the dog mode a little bit easier, I think. And you can even debuff the dog mode uh, whenever you want. The MP gain has been decreased from 3 to uh, 2, so that's that's fine. Actually, I like this even more for challenges. Because let's say you're next to an enemy and you're gonna go into dark mode. Usually you're gonna have an odd amount of MP. And so, like, ending next to an enemy, is, uh, the gel is a little bit harder. So I kind of, I don't mind this, actually. I think this is even a buff for the infinite dreams, to be honest. And yeah, so there's like a... You can now... I think some spells are now two range instead of one when you go dark mode. Um, some more like... Uh, power buff decreased. I mean, I was never gonna... I was never using this spell anyway, so... But the AP cost is now one. One AP, so that's cool. And... Some changes here. Two shields, that's cool. Removes the effects of the animal form. That's cool. Uh, affection. A, now a decreased range. Line of sight. No. And I think. Yeah. Removes the effects of animal form. So you can heal and remove the effects. Uh, let's see. Pursuit. I think you can now cast it every turn. There was like a thing on the uh, live stream. But I, was, I wasn't really sure how it works. On an enemy player applies pursuit. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So you place the glyph under you actually that's pretty cool uh bark effects gains okay dogginess now 2 ap that's cool good for dreams um also increase the damage suffered that's cool so before uh what they ch did change about the ujinax now before when you if you didn't put prey and you cast the spell the spell would be wasted, but there would be no effect. So right now how it works is there's going to be an effect if the enemy is not in a uh, prey state. So the, uh, I think the effect is now the gravity state. And if the enemy is also in the prey state, it, it also increases the damage surface. So that's pretty cool. Um, I hope the damage increase is still the same. Uh, because 2 AP is pretty cool, especially for dreams. For those of you who know, I use Ujinek for dreams. Call of the pack, I don't really care about that. Spell has been removed, so this one has been replaced. I wasn't e using that one either. New Moon is a new spell. AP cost to... Uh, what we're gonna say? It's reduce the duration. Oh, you can unbewitch yourself by three effects, so that's pretty cool. Earth Path. Some balancing changes about the Earth Path, which I'm not really interested in. I think uh, they changed the percentages of the uh, reduced in damage. Severus, I think this was a 4 AP spell, so now it's 3 AP. Um, use per turn. Did they increase the range though? Straight line casting. Yes. Well, it was one range. I think it's now two range then. Maximum range. No range. It has now three range. With range, it has two range. That's pretty cool. Oh no, wait. Rage 1, it has 3 range. Range 2, it has 2. And an animal form 1. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. And then the fire path tracking. And so you can now cast it twice on a target. That is pretty cool. I like it. But the damage, I think. Unchanged. Pretty cool. I was... This is damage. So only the low levels are like a damage increase. The higher levels are still the same wolf uh so they changed the uh, variant so you can now use multiple spells of the same element so that's pretty good jaw was a pretty good spell so it's some balancing changes in the water path i'm not using water path so if you are interested in any water spells of the ujinak 
you can pause it here. I am interested in this one, I think. Attracts one cell. And in prey state, it's still the same. No longer inflicts damage on allies. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I, I don't care about the other ones. Carrion is... So they change the levels. That's not a big deal. Carcass, so for high levels, damage is unchanged. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Beaten, so the power gain. All right. Uh, so it's pretty much unchanged if the enemy is in the prey state. But now if you do, if the enemy is not in the prey state, it's still like half of the power that you're going to get. Uh, and they nerf the damage. Why though? Oh, whatever. Bloodhound. Um... I think it's still the same though. Not sure. Coughing up. Still the same. They increased the range. I like that. Because carving up, I think. No, did they? No, I think carving up. It's uh yeah, it's the linear spell. So that's pretty nice. And oh no, it's variant of tracking. Isn't tracking the this spell? I know. That's bad for dreams though, because I like tracking a lot. But I also want to use carving up. Well, we have to see. Um, stripping, it's still the same for high levels, but for lower levels, it's now a buff. Class changes of the class set, doesn't really matter. So the Forge Lens actually got a huge nerf, a really nerf. Uh, big nerf for PvP. Uh, for those of you who know, uh, I don't cover PvP, but I, I did try it out a little bit um, a couple of months ago. And it was broken, like the no line of sight, infant range, AoE. Erosion is just so broken, so it's got a, a nerve. Ram has some rebalancing, uh, no longer affects static summons. That's pretty un unfortunate, but it makes sense though. Sealor, one change. Then we got some Hupper Mage changes, so pause the video if you're interested in it, because I don't really play Hupper Mage, so I don't really care about that. Same goes for the Sadi. Sadi got a big nerf as well, mainly for PvP, I think. So pause the video if you want to read about the spells. And then we go Eliotrope. I think this is just a balancing fix. And then, then we go Pandora. So that's pretty interesting. Blowout max uh, effects. I think this is now unlimited. The Intelligence builds actually got a small nerf. Explosive palm uh, damage reduced and explosive flask as well. The damage has been reduced uh, by a little bit. Um, Fiction now works through portals. Uh, Chamrak now increased range, so that's a buff. Brandy, um, the damage has been increased. Waterfall is now new, it's changed. Um, the mechanic that increased damage and healing has been removed. Throws the target onto the target itself, heals the allies and inflicts water damage on the enemies in an area of effect. Also repels passed over entities, so I don't know which way they were going to be pushed, but they're going to be pushed for cells. And this is the damage. I think this is pretty good damage for the chance build. Bamboo Grove is a fix, so they properly carry the caster. Now, here we go over the crowd changes, which I really like. I really like the crowd. It's just some utility changes, so it's not going to make a crowd uh, broken in PvP. Uh, but it's actually going to make it a little bit more better in PvM, especially if you're playing solo, it's going to be a lot better. Dispersing Arrow is now 2 AP. I like this a lot. Um, I think the maximum range has been increased for the lower levels, but for the high levels, it's still the same. Pretty good. And so Reprisal is now changed. I think this was the minus 100 MP spell. So it applies the gravity state and the reprisal state to the target. If the target is an enemy, it removes unparable MP on the target if they inflict damage on the caster. So if they inflict damage, they're gonna remove or they can they gonna lose their MP. But if the target is an LA, um if they get hit by an enemy, it removes MP from the enemy. That's good. Autonomous arrow buff. Damage has been increased. I think. Yeah. Punitive arrow. The damage has been increased. Slaughtering arrow. 
I don't know what I mean with this. I've maybe it's a poor translation, but bonuses are now identical for normal hits and critical hits at all ranks. Wait. So if you crit, you're gonna do the same damage as a normal hit. Isn't that a nerf instead of a buff? It was 23 damage, but when you crit, it was 27. Now it's going to be 27 all the way. So the damage hasn't gone down. But then again, if you're playing a crit build, the crit build has a little bit less of an effect. But whatever. Uh, I'm not playing with the beacon as much, but recoil beacon is now 1 AP. And tactical beacon... Uh, users per turn, one maximum range decreased, cooldown period, so there's no cooldown, you can use it every single turn, that's good. In class item you can use it twice a turn, so that's pretty nice. Now there's someone I like a lot, Lashing Arrow can now be cast diagonally instead of linear. The users per turn has been decreased from 4 to 3, but it makes sense, but the range has been decreased a little bit. But yeah, casting it diagonally is pretty nice. That I like that a lot. Um, I don't usually use this spell, but I guess there's no cooldown on it anymore. And I guess it's buff anyway. So an eye for an eye. I'm using it sometimes, but the AP cost now two maximum range being increased. So I guess it might be good. But I like this as well. Vendetta was all, only a spell that you could use for the current turn. Now it's two turns. So it's basically the old crit buff is back for two turns and the damage suffered um so that's when you when an enemy hits you they're gonna suffer more damage it's now increased to 110 percent that is pretty good but the max stacking is decreased so instead of three times five percent which will be 15 percent it's now two times uh 10%, so that's 20% more damage. That's pretty nice. That's actually better than the Panda's vulnerability. That's pretty nice. So we got some Sacria changes. Pause if you want to read about that. I'm not playing a Sacria. Masquerade is just some fixing Osa changes of two spells. Uh, some fixes. Pogonaut, some uh, fixes as well. And then we got some general stuff about the pushback uh, damage, uh, pushback resistance penalty. Um, so it's the same if you crit or no crit. Same is for the AP. So before, when you used uh, like an AP buff from the Panda Blowout, for example, it lasted the entire turn. Even if you, um, if you already played your turn, which I think affected AP reduction builds because the more AP you have, the more enemies can uh, reduce from you. So by this, I think this is then a buff, yeah, because when you lose the AP after you pass your turn, then the enemies will have a harder time AP reduce you. So I think that's a good buff and some fixes about the summons, which I'm not really going to go more into. So that's it for the class change. Pretty much. I will go over some beta changes. Um, like I said, they reduced the idols. They added new achievements for each of the dungeons. Pretty much. Oh, I want to know events. Events are still 100%. So I need to actually. So. Let's see. Oh my god. People are spamming the discord. So what, what this means is pretty much. You don't have to wait an entire year. To get 100% completion. Uh, on the. Uh, on the dungeon. Because they did not add the new achievements yet. To the uh, event dungeons. Although I do think when the event islands open, so maybe Volcania this summer, then I think with the opening they will add the uh, the achievements. At least I hope they do because it makes uh, the events a little bit more fun. Uh, the new maximum amount of achievement points is 21,602. So there's no 22,000 ornament yet. Um, also, for those of you who were above 20,000, I mentioned it earlier in a video about the uh, the idol ornament, but you're also gonna keep the uh, 22k ornament. Where is it? I don't know where it is. This one. You're gonna keep it though, even though you drop below 22, uh, 20k. So it doesn't really matter. Um, anything else that I need to talk about? 
Oh, other things that have changed is the challenges. Ankama removed a lot of challenges and added some new ones and also changed some existing ones. So from the top of my head, I know they removed the challenges where females or males were allowed to kill. Uh, they added some new ones and they changed some like barbaric. So now how the barbaric works is you have to finish off the enemy with a weapon. So you can still use spells uh, during the fight. You don't have to use your weapon at all basically. As long as you kill the enemy with your weapon. Now I want to know um, if they also changed the achievements uh, while completing the barbaric. Every turn use a weapon to... Okay, so the barbaric achievement is still the same. So unless they didn't translate this yet. But I, I know for a fact they changed the challenges. So I would assume that if they change the challenge, they would also change the achievement. We'll have to wait uh, for that. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think I covered everything that uh, Ankama has put out because they haven't really put out any more information uh, about the update other than these class changes. So yeah, um, if you're watching this video today on the YouTube channel, um, go hop on the live stream later tonight. Uh, I'll have some... I don't know what time yet, but I'll have to see. I'll be testing the any ripset changes on the beta server, so check that out. Also, for those of you who didn't already, go and hit that follow button on my Twitter. I am posting a lot of information, a lot of updates on this channel about the update as well. Actually, Ankama was playing a card game when we waited for the beta launch, so that's pretty funny. So yeah, uh, go hit me up with a follow and like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video or in tonight's stream. Uh, see you guys.